If you're watching this video, it is probably because you believe there is a problem with yourself or your spouse. And I'm glad you are watching because having identified a problem is easy. Treating that problem and working to resolve it is harder. What I often tell my clients when they show up for the first time is that I will have hope for the both of us until you can have it for yourself. It isn't a one-stop process. It isn't a once-and-done therapy session. Your brain has changed as a result of the amount of pornography that you are looking at and at the frequency with which you're looking at pornography. And the first thing that we know as professionals in the field is to stop the behavior. And to stop the behavior helps the brain reset. Once that takes place and as that is happening, I work with you, the individual, and I work with you as a couple if that is appropriate, to handle what has been missing in the marriage, what has been missing in one's life, that pornography has taken over and become the obsessive focal point. It is important to note that one cannot eventually return to pornography in the same way one has been looking at it. Like alcohol to an alcoholic, drugs to a drug addict, or money to a gambler, Looking at these reasons for which you've picked up pornography in the first place is the first step. Looking to stay away from those aspects of your life that have become problematic will be an issue for you through your life. And it won't be about changing your behavior so much as changing your life and how you are in it.